Stock number seven on the Castrol GTX Cup Series brings us to Bristol Motor Speedway, Bristol, Tennessee, as we are set to go racing for 75 minutes of short track madness in this half mile bull ring that is going to be the Food City 500 as we're set for the first or first three straight races, races on a short track. We'll be heading here for today. We're here for today's race here. Next stop will be at, after this will be at North Wilkesboro for the first Union 400. And then after Wilkesboro will be the STP 500 at Martinsville for race number nine on the series. And then, then of course, after that will be from the shortest and the slowest at Martinsville to the longest and the fastest, Talladega. So that's it. Here's the starting line for today's Food City 500 at Bristol. On the pole, it is Seth Cole, the winner at Richmond this season. The number five, Kellogg's, uh, Kellogg's CarQuest Chevrolet. He's alongside number 33. That's Dana Bouchard in the Oakwood Homes Chevrolet. Second row has number 16, John Andrews, and number 29, Ryan Butcher. Third row, the Daytona 500 winner, Jessica Shelton, and the winner this season at Darlington, Dylan Young. Fourth row has Jesse Turner, car number 97, the best he's qualified this season. The Sharpie Ford, car number 97. He's alongside Ryan George in number six, who almost had that win at Texas, only to have it snatched away from him at the white flag in that race. And you can bet he's still stinging from that, too. Fifth row has Mike Becker in 43, and number 10, Matt McIntyre. Sixth row has, has William Brock in number four, and 32, Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh row, Kyle Matthews in 42, and Cement Oscon in number 11. Next row down has number 25, that is James Henry, and number 15, Allison Rain. Next row down has Amanda Evans in number 8, and number 40, Phil Parker. Next row down has number 71, Gabby Conklin, who finished second at Richmond. She's alongside number 18, Nathan Orman, who won the season at Rockingham. Next row down has Paul Minnick in 48, and number 99, Levi McIntyre. Next row down has number 20, Joshua Osborne, and number 26, Trent Dunham. Next row down after that would be car number 28, that's Kat Batson, and beside her will be number 88, her husband, Keith Batson, and both of them, by the way, having car cameras in today's race. Next row down has our third in car camera, Cole Deaver, and car number three, the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. He's alongside number 12, that is Zach Winkle. Next row down has number 19, Ryan Brommer, and number 21, Roberto Crown Jr., Next row down has Quentin Moore in 55, the square D Chevrolet, and the winner and the winner and the winner from that Texas race, by the way, Charles Sanford, number 24, the DuPont Chevrolet. Next row down has number 41, that's Wes McCoy, and number 38, Laura Chung. Next row, number seven, that is Alexander Rowe, and number 44, Tito McCoy, the Georgia Pacific Papers Bronny Towels Pont the Dodge. Next row, number one, Clint Buchanan, and number 45, that will be. Uh, Christian Vargas and starting shotgun of field being number 31. That is James Sykes, and he's alongside the winner at Atlanta, Dylan Poteet, in the Caterpillar Dodge, car number 22. Six winners in this, six races this season so far, and six different winners we've had so far. Can we make a seven for seven today at Bristol? Mm, we'll find out in the 75 laps, of, 75 laps of racing here today. Of course, we know Jessica Shelton, Seth Cole, Nathan Ormond, um, Excuse me, um, Dylan Pote, Dylan Young, and Charles Samper will try to become the first two timers this season, this season so far. Um, uh, they're they're going to try to become the first two, two, two first two timers this season, this season so far. But of course, you know, 34 other drivers are going to try to spoil that for them here today and try to make it 7 for 7 in uh, what, different winners this season. And here comes the command to fire them up for the Food City 500. Jedi! Command given the party engines as we get set for racing here today as the pace car leads the field off of pit road. The pace up, pace up, we'll, we'll be back for the start of the race right after this. Pace car leads them off turn number four here and we'll duck off on the pit road. Seth Cole and Daniel Bouchard leads them down to the green flag here. And we are underway in the Food City 500, and what a start Seth Cole got here on the start of the race. And he'll lead him off in the turn number one. And John Andrews gets turned already. Jesse Turner is in the crash. And, that's, and that didn't take long for caution number one to fly here at Bristol. 
And some more carnage here. Charles Sanford, Tito McCoy, and James Sykes all crashed as well, too. Coming to the caution flag, and John Andrews, who was about, who started, who's who was going for second place here, he gets turned, coming off turn number two. Some tells me this is going to be one of those Bristol races, races isn't it? Because the night race had a lot of caution flags fly too last season. Andrews is about to race take second place from Daniel Bouchard, and he he squeezes Daniel into the wall, and into the wall he goes. Just misses Jessica Shelton, but Jesse Turner didn't uh, miss, and he unfortunately gets right into Andrews' car. Everybody else tries to avoid this, tries to avoid him, and, and a lot of people do a darn good job of doing so. It's a wonder why this didn't become about a 15-20 car pileup. And here comes the crash. That here comes this, here comes the deal that, that caused Charles Sanford to go around in car 24. Roberto Crown Jr. hits the wall. Charles gets right into the 31 of James Sykes, and into the wall they both go. The inside, Tito McCoy also spins, but he does not hit anything. So those three cars look like they're going to go at. They're going to go make a make a go at it again. <clears throat> and um, I think John Andrews, I think, still can make a go of it himself too. There he is in 16 car. He was you remember he was battling for a second. Well, he's down to 36 position, unfortunately for him in the National Guard Ford. So, we'll be back for the restart here at Bristol. Seth Cole is your leader with Jessica Shelton second. Third is Daniel Bouchard. Fourth is Ryan Butcher. And Dylan Young is in fifth. Back for the restart after this. About to get set for the restart here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Here you got two. We got we got three Chevys, a Ford, and a Dodge in the top five spot. We gave you the top five already. Sixth position right now is Mike Becker. Seventh is Ryan George. Eighth is William Brock. Kyle Matthews is ninth, and Matt McIntyre matches his car number, running in tenth. And Matt needs a big pick me up in the points. He is, his he is his start of the season has not been the best in the world. So Matt really needs a pick me up this season. At this at this, at this, at this portion of the season here, green flag flies again, back and away. Lap number seven here at Bristol. Dylan Young now getting by Ryan Butcher in the 29 car. Butcher is starting getting a little bit loose through the middle of three and four. Mike Becker gets up underneath him, and the yellow flag flies for the second time here today. And it's, oh, it's Matt McIntyre, the 10 car that has crashed, and James Sykes again. This time Sykes is upside down. Laura Chung in the 38 car. She's involved in the crash as well, too. There's John Andrews in the 16 car. He's on pit road. And a hood buckle on the Charles Sanford car. The 24 machine and a tough break for him after after a, such a darn good run after, after a big win he had at Texas, and it all falls down for Charles here as, as also with um, Sykes, McIntyre, and a few others here. Take a look at take a look as to what happened with, with Matt McIntyre's machine in the 10 car. And Matt got turned. Looks like come out the second corner here. Matt gets loose off turn number two, gets into the wall, gets into cement. Oscon, Oscon, he hits the wall but does not spin, and then he say, uh, had, thought he had to say that, and then gets into James Henry and spins himself. Orman just missed, but here comes Brommer. He gets into him. Matt tries to get his, his car to start back up, but then he gets hit by, gets broadsided by James Sykes. Roberto Crown Jr. We mentioned there's Sanford and Chung, both of them spin as well too. As we mentioned, a hood buckle on Charles's. DuPont Chevrolet, but I tell you, tough. I tell you, for Matt McIntyre, it's been feast or famine this the last couple seasons for him. We mentioned he needed the big pick up, and yep, and he's out of the race, unfortunately, for him, too. <clears throat> so, Matt's out of the race with a crash here. Laura Chung with an engine failure. Uh, James Sykes, no s secret, he's out of the race. And, Jane, and of course, unfortunately, and another guy who's been feast or famine, Jesse Turner. He has, he has had such hard luck. And um, so, Turner and McIntyre, you can bet they're both going to be want, hoping their luck changes, obviously, too. Because they really do need it as far as their, um, 
as far as the season turnaround is concerned. As we're still running a race, still running a season though, where this is race number seven on the tour uh, for season thirty-one. But um, you never can tell points, and and they and they and, and everybody wants to move up points wise, uh, so they're gonna have to. Um, like I said, just hope for the best as, as well as far as I'm, as far as that's concerned. But Seth Cole Leach will take you right for, right to the restart right after this. John Andrews moves to the inside lane now as, as, as he as he is the only car not on the lead lap as we are <coughs> set to go racing. Again, lap number 14 is when this race restarts here at Bristol. It's Seth Cole leading, Daniel Bouchard second, Jessica Shelton's third, fourth is Dylan Young, fifth is Ryan Butcher, then Mike Becker, uh, William Brock, Kyle Matthews, um, Ryan George, and... 10th position right now belonging to what, Zachary Fitzwater. Green flag back out, lap 14. Here comes Bouchard to the low side. Looking for the lead on the on the five of Seth Cole. John Andrews moving to the high side, high side of the racetrack here, trying to make room for the leaders as they come off the second turn here. Dylan Young trapped behind him, as is Ryan Butcher, as William Brock, Kyle Matthews, and now here comes Ryan George to the low side. Lap cars can play as a, a bit of a nuisance at times as well, too, as when it comes to um, the leaders trying to get by him, as one of the cars got off the wall, can't tell who that was, and whoa, Dylan Young almost spun, come off to number four. But managed to keep the handle of the car on the car and still keeps going. He's in ninth position right now in the number two Miller Lite Dodge. But there's the battle for the lead here: Seth Cole versus D uh, Daniel Bouchard. On uh, the second turn, they come here. Bouchard looks to the low side here, trying to close up on Seth Cole. There's Shelton running in third position. William Brock now matching his car number in fourth position in car number four. And Mike Becker taking the petty cars up to the fifth position in that number five, number 43, Cheerios Betty Crocker Dodge. Fitzwater's in sixth position. Then it's Ryan George, Kyle Matthews, Ryan Butcher, and Gabby Conklin in the top ten. As here comes Phil Parker to the left side of the course like Dodge. Moves to the low side. Let's see what happens off the second turn here. Parker gets a run to the inside lane. Whoa, Young and James Henry both gets in. The, oh, and, he and Cole Deaver both crash. And no caution. How in the absolute... Both cars wall right in turn number three. Kept the handle, both keep running, and no caution somehow flew. Mark that one down as something that you never see in an offline series, guys. And oh, Bill Parker's got problems in the, in the 40. We were, talking about, we were talking about how good of a run he was having, and the yellow flag's flown. Now finally flies for the third time here today. And Daniel Bouchard finally just took the lead over Seth Cole as, as that was all happening. But Phil Parker, who was running in the ninth, he was running, he was going for the top ten, gets turned through turns number three and four. Uh, actually, got a turn come out turn number two. Actually, he was trying to take Kyle Matthews for the for the tenth position here. Kyle just got passed by Gabby Conklin, and Phil just stuffs Matthews into the wall right there. Oh my gosh, that's a bad hit for Kyle Matthews. Well, not really a bad hit though, but he just got. I'm sure that's, that guy has attention getting squeezed into the wall like that. Dylan Young's going to come up right up and just misses the 40 car of, of Parker. And here comes Cat Batson. She misses. Orman. Everybody else is going to miss until he gets he gets into the race, gets on the track, gets in the Trent Dunham and Roberto Crown Jr. and crashes them both out of the race. And I'm sure Trent and Roberto's going to wonder what Phil was thinking after that. So I'm sure there's going to be some talk in the garage area. Now, let's take a look at what happened a couple of laps earlier with the three car of Cole Deaver.
Now mark this down in something that you will never see in an NR online race ever again. Especially in the NCRA. Cold, or James Henry got almost got turned by Dylan Young. He turns Deaver right into the wall like this. And now watch this piece of driving. Deaver and James Henry both simultaneously wall rides in turns three and four, slows him down, both gets back on all four wheels. Engines keep running on both the 25 and the 3 cars, and they still and still no caution flag that flew. As Jeff, Go as Kyle Petty would say, just incredible. On board with Cole Deaver. Let's take a look. Let's, let's see what he saw in this whole thing. I say both James Henry and Cole Deaver need a new pair of underwear after that whole thing happened. I'm, oh my gosh. That is just absolutely wild stuff. And we, we always said anything can happen on a race, though, but I think that just took that thing to a whole new level, I think, didn't it? Well, there is Daniel Bouchard. He was the leader coming uh, coming across the yellow flag, but he and a host of others made pit stops under caution here, as, and there's a kind of a, kind of a good opportunity for them to do so. So Fitz, so Bouchard, who was leading, it, who led the yellow flag, is now back to 19th position right now. Green flag back out is Zachary Fitzwater, who leads right now. Ryan George is second, third is Gabby Conklin, then it's Dylan Young in fourth, and Levi McIntyre now rides fifth. So they're going to do a 16 car of John Andrews, and Andrews with a even with a damage up back end, looking pretty good right now at this point. But he is giving uh, Dylan Pote and Allison Rain uh, both fits right now as they come off turn number two, and Pote gets a little bit loose now, moves inside now into turn number three. Dylan Pote, let's remember Pote started dead last. He's already at the fifth position right now, thanks to um, the strategy of staying out. But now Allison Rain moves to the low side in the 15 car and gets past Young. Puts Alley up to the number five spot, and Dylan, as we watch Fitzwater and Ryan George continue to lead this race here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and Fitzwater gets off the wall. George gets off. And Ryan George moves to the up on the back bumper of the two car. He'll move dip to the low side now. Drag us off to number four, and whoa! Little Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch going on right there. Coming on the front stretch, and now Dylan Young gets into the party now in the number two car. And I thought he was going to make a three wide in turn number one, though, but the, the Dylan did the wiser decision and backed off <coughs> and regroups and tries it again. Now, as he goes into turn number one, now as he comes, as Young moves inside of Fitzwater now for second place. Poteen in sixth position. Wes McCoy right now running in seventh position. Eighth is, is um, Zach Winkle. Keith Batson running ninth. And Clint Buchanan. Runs in 10th position. Now we jump on board with Keith Batson. And yellow flag was like a slow for the fourth time, looks like, here today. It looks like, um,. Ryan George led him back to the start finish line here. And whoa, careful there, leaders. We don't know what was the cause of the yellow flag to fly here, and I think it might have been. It might have been Trent Dunham, I think, in the 26 car. Indeed, it was Dunham as he gets right into Cole Deaver's car. Come off turn number two. Two is usually a trouble spot at Bristol, and then he gets tapped by James Henry in the. 25 car sends Trent into the wall in the inside lane here. Just a common problem we have here at Bristol, obviously, when it comes to um, cautions that fly. So Dunham back in the way in the, in the Crown Royal Irwin Tools number 26, and he had been having a good start to the season so far. Dunham has. 
But Bristol plays no favorites, as you know. In a certain... What in the world, Paul Minnick? What the heck was... If anything crazy happens to, to anybody in the end of the series, it's usually me, and look what happened to Paul Minnick. He comes in the pit road, looks like he's normal, right? Okay, Paul does not, does not play so how he came in the pit road. Gabby Conklin leaves pit road at this point, but Paul Minnick decides to just say, screw it, I'm going to park it right here. Uh, Paul, you're not going to get service like that. <laughs> oh, my flippin'. <laughs> now he finally comes in the pit road. Fitzwater now comes in, but... <laughs> This WTF moment in NSCR history is being brought to you by... Oh, wait, we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> oh, my good criminy. <laughs> Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. So, after that WTF moment... Let's go, let's get back to racing at Bristol, shall we? Kyle Matthews is now your leader. Nance William brought Cement Oscon, Daniel Bouchard, and James Henry to the top five. Green flag back out, lap number 40 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Some more leaders pitted by under yellow, as we saw with Fitzwater doing here. And now here comes William Brock to the low side, now tries to go for the top spot. And three wide, Paul Bennett trying to get himself back on the lead lap here as they come off the fourth turn here. Nathan Orman comes up behind uh, the the Minnick car. Minnick is 34th, by the way. He's a lap down. And here comes, and look at Orman in the 18 car. He's got some horsepower in the hood of that number 18 interstate battery. He's Pontiac. Orman, one of those six winners this season so far. He won at Rockingham. And looks for, and looks for maybe another, good, another one here at Bristol, possibly. Cat Batson is in seventh. Eighth is Ryan Butcher. Look, and how about Charles Sanford? No hood and all. He's now going for the top 10. He's in 10th spot right now. Now passed by Ryan, uh, I should say Mike Becker. He's now for, no, for 10th. He's 11th now. But Charles Sanford with no hood is running, in the, is running in the top 15 right now at Bristol. That's into the wide. Oh, just with his tongue right here. He gets turned. Ryan George has also turned as well, too. Caution number five, I think, five or six, I should say, here, Bristol, but. And Fitzwater, I, and Fitzwater almost got past the 50, 55 car of Quentin Moore. But Kyle Matthews led him back to the start finish line here, and I think, and, and, um,. But Charles Samper, Samper, we was talking about how good he was running with no hood in the top uh, 15. I should have just kept my mouth shut. That's two guys so far I've bragged on, and they and they got, and everything fell down for them. Samper got was running was battling with Ryan Bar with Christian Vargas in the 25 car, and here he comes. He's on the, he's outside of Allison Rain in the 15 car. Charles gets off the wall, gets right in the 25 of James Sykes, his teammate, and since Charles around and around he goes, and then. Uh, and I should say James Henry got into it with Ryan George sends them both around as well too and then Gabby Conklin gets into the wall in the 71 car not sure if anybody else crashed as well too but you know Quentin got off the wall badly come off turn number 2 and he still holds off the, the 32 car of, of Zachary Fitzwater 
While Keith Batson had a unique view of this building, he misses the crash, but it rushes from Keith's view. And there is Keith right now. He runs in 17th position right now as the pace car's lights are off. We're going to have one lap till the restart here. We're on lap number 50, so we're going to have um, 25 to go when this race restarts here. Kyle Matthews is your leader. Second is William Brock. Cement Oscon runs third. Fourth position right now is Nathan Orman. Daniel Bouchard is fifth. Sixth is, Ke is Kat Batson. Seventh, Ryan Butcher. Eighth is Tito McCoy. Ninth is... My, is, Matt, Matt, is Mike Becker and 10th is Jessica Shelton. That's how they're going to run. That's how you run right now. Green fly by. Flies 25 to go. Lap number 51. Bouchard looks to the low side of Nathan Orman looking for position right there. In the meantime, Cement Oscon up the second position. He's got that number 11 FedEx car quite a ride here. The men started this race, I think, up in the top 15, and he has had enough of bad runs to another bad luck to last him a lifetime here in this series, and he needs a good run as a big time here for this team. Cement's downgraded to his own to just himself though, for his for his uh, for his own team of cars. He had about a four-car team last season, and, and about three of them didn't perform as well as he had hoped. The yellow flag flies once again here at Bristol. And oh a Big crash. Allison Rain's gonna get through all of this right there. Joshua Osborne involved. Alexander Rowe is involved. I think Deber might have been involved. Sanford, we saw him and, and Osborne both involved. And see what caused the whole shindig here at Bristol. Dylan Poteet spins right there. He gets he hits he gets in the Gabby Conklin. Meantime, Allison Rain and Jessica Shelton both get turned around. The 15 and 17 cars. And here comes Seth Cole right there in the five, five car. He gets in Allison's car. Also nails Shelton. Seth gets into the inside wall right there. You know, everybody else is going to play a game of where do I go and I get there. And then and then Wes McCoy gets into Levi McIntyre, the 99 car. <clears throat> Levi and Trent both crash. And so does Amanda Evans. And they both, the 99 and the 8 cars, almost crash. Osborne gets into Wes McCoy in the 41 car. And now suddenly it's a, it's a mess here. So Clint McCoy, or Clint Buchanan, I should say, gets into the 41 car. Better question is who didn't crash. That's probably the better question here. That's Bristol for you, though. And that is, I think, the seventh or... I think it's probably the seventh caution flag of the day here at Bristol. Typical Bristol mayhem. That's what we said was going to happen here in this race. And we were not lying here today. This is pretty much going to be as a who is a last who is the last man standing event here or last driver standing in the event I should say here when it comes to this race here. But right now it's Kyle Matthews your leader. Second is Cement Oscon. Third position is William Brock. Fourth is Daniel Bouchard. And fifth position is Nathan Orman. Sixth right now is Ryan Butcher. <coughs> Tino McCoy seventh. Eighth is Christian Vargas. Ninth is Ryan George and James Henry. To think this is the same driver. Who wall rode in turn number three, kept the car, put the car on all four wheels. He's now running in tenth position. The man who wall rode turn three. <laughs> I kid you not. Just incredible. Um, Zachary Fitzwater is eleventh. Keith Batson is twelfth. Thirteenth is Quentin Moore. Fourteenth is Mike Becker. Fifteenth is John Andrew. Fifteenth, I should say, is is Cat Batson. 16th is Dylan Poteet, Dylan Young 17th, Phil Parker 18th, 19th is Zach Winkle, 20th is Jessica Shelton, Clint Buchanan 21st, Alexander Rowe 22nd, Roberto Crown Jr. 23rd, Joshua Osborne 24th, 25th is Charles Sanford, 26th is Trent Dunham matching his car number, Wes McCoy 27th, 28th is Amanda Evans, Gabby Conklin 29th, and Allison Rain runs in 30th. Pace Cars lights are off now as the... Um, 
the 48 car of Paul Minnick. Moves to the inside. Minnick, by the way, is a, is a lap down in 31st position, and 32nd is John Andrews, and they're the only two cars that are not on the lead lap. They're still in this race here. Seth Cole is out with a fuel line problem. This is Cole Deaver. He was the other guy who was in that, who was in that wall ride tandem. <laughs> and stuff. He, unfortunately... Um, it's finally knocked out of the race there, as is McIntyre, Brommer, Chung, Matt McIntyre, Sykes, and Jesse Turner. The green, green flag back out. Two cars on the lead lap. 32 cars that are still running. 30 of them on the lead lap. And see what happens here in the last laps here at Bristol. Lap number 59 was where this race race starts here. Kyle Matthews continues to lead. William Brock in the second position. Now here comes Bouchard in the 33 car. As Oscon goes to the high side and he keeps position for the time being. And now the 11 and 33 car is going to go toe to toe as the 11 gets off the wall. Now here comes Orman to the low 718 car. And he'll get past Oscon. That drops the cement now, I think, to the sixth position, I think. Nope, fifth. And how about Tito McCoy, the 44 car? And he's having some days up the fifth, sixth position. And Christian Vargas up to, up, to, up to the top 10 now. These two cars could be in for a good run here today. And here comes Batson to the left side of the Look at that power of that, of that quality care Ford. Keith Batson knows how to get it done at Bristol. Bristol, he's won here before. And yellow flag flies once again here at Bristol. And it's, it's Gabby Conklin, the 71 car that's crashed this time. And that's about the eighth caution flag of the day. Amanda Evans and uh, and uh, Allison Rain now coming down pit road. But Gabby Conklin won a Quentin Morshaw who finished second at Richmond uh, a few races ago. Oh, and Gabby just got flipped. But she was not the main cause of the caution flag. Let's see what happened to cause the original cause the yellow flag to fly. Allison... No, I didn't, Clint Buchanan got turned by Zach Winkle in the 12 car. Clint goes into the inside wall. Here comes out Gabby Conklin. Ouch. Right into the one car. Allison Rain. Allison and Gabby both flipped. And Amanda Evans got spun as well too in the 8 car. But Gabby Conklin, that is a bad crash for her. Real time. Yeah, man, the Evans was the one who delivered the Coupe de Gras. And the pace, and the pace car just drove under the 71 car and still not get damaged. Oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Bizarre 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. <laughs> just as you rejoin us, the green flag is back up about to fly here. Let's see if we can get the last eight laps under green here today at Bristol. Kyle Matthews looking to hold on here. He's, he's, he's still, he still leads at number 42, Haviland Dodge. William Brock, Daniel Bouchard, Nathan Orman, and Cement Oscon, the top five. Here we go. Again, the 48 car of Paul Minnick, not on the lead lap, but he could be Kyle Matthews' uh, best friend here. If he can keep, he, 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 Kyle can keep it, keep it between he, keep uh, Minnick between he and William Brock. And at number four car, Brock has not won in a long time in the series, and Bouchard is coming off a top five finish here. Matthews up to the high side. Here comes William Brock to the low side. He follows that 48 car on through as they come off turn number two. The 42 in the four car. Matthews gets off the wall, and William Brock takes the lead. Off turn number four. Complete, uh, completes that number 70. We're down to five to go at Bristol, and yellow flag flies again. And that may have just been the end of the race right there. And if that is, William Brock may have just won here with Kyle Matthews second. And it's Alexander Rowe in the seven car that's spun. And again, another turn two spinner there. This time, Rowe gets off the wall, gets turned by Roberto Crown Jr. in the seven car, or 21 car, I should say. And around goes the seven machine, and that knocks the seven car out of contention. And Paul Minnick finally does get back on the lead lap, but there's only four to go in this race here, so what cost will that? So that's basically just um, 
What's the point here? Well, the lights are still on the pace car on lap number 74, so we're two laps from the finish, and, they, and we are not going to get this race restarted, so that means William Brock, it, unless the well laid plans of Mice and Men go astray, is going to win. Is, is going to become the seventh different winner in season 31 in the Cash Roll GTX Cup Series, as it'll take the number four Kodak, Kodak Max Chevrolet to victory lane here today at the world's fastest half mile. Second place will go to... Daniel Bouchard, Kyle Matthews, who heartbreaker breaker for him. He had that race won. Looks like, looked like he was going to get the, he was going to get his first victory here today, but gets off the walking off number two. Just enough to let William Brock move to the low side, and Brock goes inside, takes lead, and just at the right time too. But Matthews can't complain though. He still finishes third here today. Nathan Orman continue, continues his solid start to the season. He finishes. He'll finish fourth. Tito McCoy will come home, and Tito McCoy with his first top five of the season, he ends up finishing fifth. Ryan George matches his car number, finishes sixth, a good rebound from Texas. Uh, Mike Becker seventh, eighth will go to Quentin Moore, ninth to Christian Vargas, and Cement Oscon will get his first top ten of the season. He'll finish in tenth position. We'll give you the rest of the finishing order as the um, as we finish this race here. But there's the checker flag in a fall in a fall for car number four. William Brock wins the Food City 500 here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and William will take will put that car into gear and drive it to victory lane here today for the Morgan McClure Racing Team out of the nearby Abington, Virginia. And he just crashed right into the 48 car. What the flip? I guess it's a proper way to finish this race now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I swear to goodness. So, seven races are in the books here in this 34 season. We are down, we're down to 27 races to go in the season. But anyway, uh, we gave it a top 10 already here. Keith Batson finishes 11th. Zachary Fitzwater 12th. 13th will go to Cat Batson. 14th will go to Dylan Pote. Joshua Osborne 15th. 16th to Dylan Young. 17th to uh, James Henry. Ryan Butcher 18th. Zachary, Zach Winkle 19th. And Phil Parker finishes 20th. Charles Sanford 21st. Wes McCoy 22nd. Trent Dunham 23rd. Jessica Shelton 24th. Uh, Alexander Rowe, 25th. Paul Minix, 26th. He'll be, he ends up finishing the, he ends up in, the, in Roberto Crown Jr., 27th. The last car to finish on the lead lap, John Andrews. The only car to finish uh, not on the lead lap. He finishes two laps down in 28th. So 28 cars finish, and here is the 12th that fin and here is the 12 cars to finish out of the race. Clint Buchanan, Gabby Conklin, Allison Rain, Amanda Evans, Seth Cole, Cole Deaver, Levi McIntyre, Ryan Brommer, Laura Chung, Matt McIntyre, James Sucks, Jesse Turner, were all the cars that finished that race. Air speed of a blistering hauling, but not 58.4 miles per hour. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, so we have experienced everything today at Bristol from the wild and crazy to the good stuff to the absolute flipping bizarre. And <laughs> that's what you're going to get here in the Castrol GTX Cup Series, <laughs> sanctioned by the Canada CRA. <laughs> Now you see why I say Seth Cole's Duracell Cup Series is the series to watch, and that's and that's why you should subscribe to this channel in the end of CRA. Sports and Gaming Channel here it is because, because we have everything on the channel. In addition to Seth's Duracell Cup Series, we got all we got all kinds of other cool stuff, including the end of CR, including the including gaming videos on race on uh, including gaming videos and online racing videos, and and a lot of other stuff. And I'll, and so be sure to also check out uh, be sure to check out our other two NSCRA offline series, including the NSCRA Dirt NSCRA Spectrum Mobile Cup series from channel X six six seven five three nine eight five eight X. That's Dylan Young's channel, and also be sure to check out um, the NSCRA Marvel Studios Cup series from Thrash Man eight ninety nine. That's Levi McIntyre's channel, and that and so and uh, subscribe to those two channels as well for some cool stuff as well too. So. That will do it here today. Congratulations once again to William Brock, the winner of the bizarre, of the very bizarre Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. For now, it's James Paulson, but 
This has been a production of the end of the CRA, celebrating 10 years of off-line racing. We'll see you at North Wilkesboro, and I hope that race is a heck of a lot better.